So most of question and answer is made of pretty simple music around the harmony of D minor, except for the last four bars where we have um, progression directly imported from Giant Steps by John Coltrane. But first, let's start from the ending of the first part. So this progression is based on a simple move from the DM to the B flat, from the tonic D minor to the six degree B flat. So what musicians have been doing forever is to add a passing tone in the bass. And we can play it also with the upper voice following it. So you know that sound. But there's an harmonic twist here when Pat Metheny is playing E flat instead of the E. And the next thing he does is to add an F in the bass this way. It doesn't change the uh, core harmony, but it makes it from this melodic counterpoint uh, sound this more contemporary 251. And the last thing he does is to spice up the B flat by dividing the two bars into one bar of B natural. So why is it important to know that? Uh, say that I'm comping a bass solo on the piano and I want to keep that simple and minimal. So instead of playing the 2-5-1, I could go just remembering that the 2-5-1 started as a, just a passing chord. So now I have two possibilities. I could go maybe going straight to the dominant. You see? On the surface, this progression is made of major seven chords and dominant chords. But at the core of this progression, there is a move from major to minor. Let's see where it is. The first thing I'm going to do is to look at the D flat as a C sharp. It's going to make it easier to see the progression. So C sharp, E7, A. And the next thing I'm going to do is to change the E7 to E7 over B. This way we're gonna have a descending bass. Now, if we changed the C sharp major to C sharp minor, so instead of we play Look what we're having. It's a move from a tonic to the sixth degree. Same as before. Moving back to the major.
we realize now that we are having a progression that starts from C sharp major going down to the sixth degree of C sharp minor. Can you hear that? Uh, that slightly melancholic A major? It's interesting to see harmony from the perspective of melodic movements in the bass. I'm gonna be talking about it a lot in the next few videos, 